Okay, so I'd like to do a little video tutorial on how to use uh, the new pressure sensitivity and the calligraphy uh, pen effects in Zara Designer Pro 6. So uh, first I'm going to open up a blank document and this is based upon a template which uh, uh, I created. Um, I'm going to first I want to import an illustration that I worked on recently. Here it is. I'm going to make this a bit bigger like that. I'm going to use the uh, cropping tool to crop it down. I don't want the whole image. I just want to do this one little part here. Let me center that. Let me make it a little bit bigger here. Okay, then I want to change the uh, outline here to instead of black to make it a uh, nice blue. So I'm going to go to the dark contone here in the color editor and I'm going to put in my favorite number which is 5FCAFF -F, and hit enter. Okay, well you don't have to hit enter actually. This is on the rough layer. I'm going to lock that layer, go to the drawing layer, and then I'm going to zoom in to uh, a little closer on this guy here. Okay, with the pencil tool, I'm going to be using the pen pressure setting over here. And actually, when you're up here and you set it for the pen pressure, um, this is the main one that you have to look for, is to enable disable the pen pressure sensitivity. Oh, another thing I want to make sure over here that it's at butt cap and miter join. And let me just draw a line or two here to give you an idea what it looks like. Let's see. Well, that's really fine. And the reason that that's so fine is because it can't get any thicker than the 0 0.5 point uh, thickness that I put here. So I'm going to bring that up to say 4. And the other thing I want to do aside from the pressure sensitivity is I also want to do this enable disable sketch mode. And what that does is when you have this enabled, uh, when you draw a line, and as soon as you stop end that one stroke and you go to the next stroke, even if it's close, it's a brand new stroke. If you have that disabled, then when you go and draw a line, you get down to there, and then you go and draw another line, they, they end up being connected. Now sometimes that's what you want. Sometimes you want them to go from one thing and to be connected so that it's one line, so that later on you can take and you can adjust the line, the whole line. But I'm going to delete all those. Um, when you're sketching and going along quickly, a lot of times you don't want that to happen. You want it to be a separate line each time you do a stroke. Sometimes you're doing little things like this. And if you don't have that enabled, what happens is you see how they, they, they just keep connecting. If the end of one line and the beginning of the next line are in close proximity, okay? So let's take those, let's get rid of those. Uh, I just want to draw some lines here, get a little bit closer in, and just draw some lines. Let's go and make it eight, okay? And we have it that it's the pressure sensitivity. So you can, you know, go thin and thick like that, just depending on how much pressure you put on that. And you can get really nice tapered edges. Um, you can get a lot of variation in those lines just like you would with a brush. And it takes a little bit of, of you know getting used to to kind of get control of it. Just if you've done brushing with an actual Windsor Newton Series 7 Red Sable triple zero whatever kind of a thing you're going to see that it, it, it just takes a little bit of practice to 
get the lines that you want. Another thing that you can do, let me get rid of these so we don't have to stare at these ugly lines. Another thing that you can do is, let's say, okay, I've got this set at eight. And I draw this line here like that. And my line is, you know, just the way I want it to be. But it's a little too thick. So if you want to make it thinner, you can come up here and you can make it a four-point line. So it'll keep all the other attributes that you've done in the thick-to-thin uh, scenario, but it will um, allow you to make the line thinner or make it thicker with the same profile. Okay, let's get rid of that. And let's see if we can go back to our man. Okay, so I'm using the pencil tool, and I'm going to set it for... I think four. Let's zoom in a little bit. So here we go. Bingo. Now, of course, you can always come here and you can tweak a little bit like that if you want. You can delete nodes and fix it up. But of course, the whole idea is you want to be able to just draw away. Now, I kind of, maybe I'll go up to the 8 and see if that's any better. Because remember with the 8, that just sets the maximum that you can do. Okay? And I've got it so that the lines won't connect. I can still tweak a little bit if I want to. Sometimes you just want to get a nice flow of movement here. Like that. And you can now see what happens. I held down the Alt key. I have these pressure sensitivity, not pressure sensitivity. I have the the different uh, tablet keys set up for different things. So one of them is this is set up for the Alt key. So when I do that, it constrains it to a straight line. Let's go like this. Yeah, it's a little too you know crunchy for my to wobbly. Some of my illustrations I like to have these nice straight lines. And it's very nice because it's very much just like natural drawing. I want to pull out a little bit. You really have to get used to this whole thing. And I'm not totally used to it. Okay, here. But it's nice that you don't have to keep switching back and forth to, you know, a thicker and thinner stroke because you can control it just like you would with a normal brush, just by your the pressure of your hand and it really I find it really responds pretty well to how your hand is going okay also I have my smoothing set to 25 and you can play around with that and try different settings then if I want to take that I want to you know, change a little bit with Zara it just makes it so nice and those lines are going to be nice and black and beefy when you do the uh, have the final illustration finished. So if you overshoot it a little bit, that's okay. The great thing about Vector is it's all editable. You can take that, and I said, okay, I want to go hit here. Let's change it a little bit. Okay, let's make this thing here. You can adjust things however you want. You can, like I said, you can constrain it to a straight line. Then you can pull it down a little bit to get some of those things that you don't want to have to rely upon your shaky little hand to do.